Hello, I've been asked what add-ons I use. Before I get into that, I just want to specify that this list is almost entirely from doing Simon Fuchs' Blender drone tutorial, available on his, on his Gumroad. His course is not free, but all the add-ons mentioned here are. I'm not affiliated with him in any way, just someone who purchased his course knowing what I was looking for and being blown away by how much it over-delivered, especially considering I am someone who almost always gets buyer's remorse, not in this case. So as not to steal any credit from him, I won't be explaining how to install them or how to set them up. You can either find that out for yourself through research, trial and error, or purchase his course, which I highly recommend if you do hard surface. I've never seen anyone else cover as concisely every step of what's needed and how to use it the way he does. He thoroughly, thoroughly explains where to get them, how to install them, and how to set them up. So there's no conflicts. This is to me is the best hard surface course out there resulting in not only a fantastic portfolio piece, but moreover, the ability to now make anything for yourself. Quick note, I am currently using Blender 3.3.1. I began on Blender 3.0, so they seem to work with newer versions. So I'm just going to put these up on the screen. Pause it if you need to. I've categorized them roughly by where you get them. However, some have changed and require a bit more work, which again is why you should buy the course, where Simon has already done that for you. Category 1. Default Blender add-ons, TinyCAD, F2 tools, Loop tools, 3D viewport Pi menus, Node Wrangler, Magic UV, and Ball tool. Category two, mostly on Gumroad, are Machine tools, Key Kit, Edge Curve, UV Toolkit, Box Select X-Ray, Nell tools, Smart Frame. Then on category three, which are from GitHub, we have Maxiv's Interactive Tools, Edge Flow, Mirror Tools, and QuickPipe. Material Utilities, Text Tools, and UV Squares. Then lastly, we've got Category 4, All Bytes Lonesome on its own website, is UV Packer, which is a free alternative to UV Pack Master Pro. That's all the free add-ons that I use. Um, I highly recommend getting Simon Fuchs' course, um, as it will show you how to use them all. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for listening, and take care.